Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. It was in 2019 that our Fini got married to Jamo Mejo, who is a US-based businessman. This duo got married in Ibado. They got married on Valentine's Day and these two often celebrate their love on Valentine's Day. And these two often celebrate themselves on their social media platforms. Just a month ago, Ta was gushing over her husband when he celebrated his birthday. And she showered the encomium on him. When she took to her social media platform and said her husband was the best thing that happened to her and she noted how thankful she was to call him her husband. In her words, I feel so grateful to have found my love. So great, true and special. I'm glad to be here with you today by your side as your wife. I'm so lucky to have you as my Prince Charming and indeed I thank the almighty God for bringing you my way and making you my forever. I celebrate this amazing day with you. And I wish you all the goodness of God forever. Happy birthday, Okomi. Ashi Isha Modu. Lola Nobi Muhammad. Thanks to everyone for the massive love. Adukbe Pupo. Well, today, some days to Valentine. And of course, their wedding anniversary. The excited actress gets Versace t shirts, sneakers from her husband. Three days to Valentine. Many lovers all over the world are greatly expecting Valentine's Day, which will be celebrated on Sunday, February 14th. The day comes with exchange of gifts and many can't wait to see what their lovers got for them. For this actress, her husband came through for her three days to Valentine's Day. And this Yuba actress recently showed off the expensive gift she got from the love of her life. Tawa got a Versace white t-shirt and some sneakers. The excited actress Tawa, who currently resides in the US with her husband, took to her social media platform to share a video of herself on her Valentine gift. In the caption that accompanied her post, so I hold her husband for delivering her gift on time. And in her words, I'm truly blessed to call you mine. The Lord gave me the ultimate blessing when he brought you into my life. And I thank him for him. And I thank him for it every day. You are truly a wonderful husband. May God fill your heart with happiness. Just as you have filled mine with love. I appreciate you. My talk and do. Happy Valentine's Day to Tawa and her husband in advance. And happy wedding anniversary to them. In advance, please stay with us for biographical fact of Tawa Ajishifine. Where is Tawa Ajishifine? Where was she born? What is her age? What is her most embarrassing moment? What schools did she attend? What state is she from? Who is she married to? What has been her journey so far? And a lot more. This talented Yoba actress and producer Tawa Ajishifine, who is also known as Monkele, was born on March 7th. And she's originally from Oshun State. She's the last child in a family of four. Tawa hides her age from the public. So she's one of those celebrities that are not comfortable revealing their year of birth. As mentioned earlier, Tawa is the last child. And she sadly lost one of her sisters two years ago. She was still living with her parents when she ventured into the movie industry. She had her primary education at the Poly Children's School at Teleyele in Ibado. Before she proceeded to her Lady of Apostle Secondary School in Ibado. Her secondary school education. Whilst she was waiting for admission. To study theatre outside the university, she already ventured into acting. She chose the course because she had already mastered the practical aspect of acting. Prior to film, Tao was a personal assistant to the popular Nollywood actress Funke Akindele Bilu. When she was asked about her journey, she said that initially she didn't know that she could act or become an actress. She had always desired to be a doctor right from childhood. But things took a different turn when she was in secondary school. Watching Yoba movies made her fall in love while acting. Watching Yoba movies made her fall in love with acting. It was specifically the movie titled Wodi, which was produced by the version Yoba actor, Miwa Adimola, that motivated her to make a decision to join the movie industry. With that determination, one thing led to another, and she eventually found herself in the industry. She joined Razak Olaiwala Ujopagogo's Film School in the year 2003. According to this actress, her most embarrassing moment was a day that will always linger in her memory. The day that made her sad. Some years ago, when Tawa was training at Ujupagogo Film School, she was punished because she was late to the location. That day, their boss, Razakola Iwala, who is popularly known as Ujupagogo, taught them some dancing steps. But the entire did not get the dancing steps because she was late. So one of the instructors asked her to kneel down in front of other students. They were about a thousand. The entire was flogged in the presence of all of them. She said that the instructor gave her four strokes of the cane, 
despite the fact that she had begged him repeatedly. She later went on to one of those female toilets to weep. Well, today, she sees that flogging as one of the dues she had to pay in the movie industry. And she thanks God that it has become history. Sawa, as mentioned earlier, got engaged but hid the face of her fiancé. Before she eventually got married, on February 14, 2019, she got married in a quiet ceremony to Jamo Mayo in Ibadan, and today she is happily married. Tawa has two role models in the movie industry. She is very proud to have them as a mentor. These models are Femi Adebayo Salami and Funke Akindele Bilu. As mentioned earlier, Tao was Funke Akinde Belu's PA, personal assistant, for several years. She also mentioned in an interview that Funke gave her a hand in the production of her very first movie. And in Tawa's words, she's a godsend because she was ready to let her actualize her dream. Tawa featured in Funke's movies too, and their relationship is still intact till date. Some people complain that they do not have their parents' support. For joining the movie industry however this actress has a parent support but then her mother gave her a condition that she had to sign an agreement before going into the movie industry according to that agreement tower will never misbehave or bring shame to the family that is the reason why tower is very cautious of whatever she does because she's not ready to violate or go beyond her boundary in the movie industry tower's definition of style for tower style encompasses a lot of things as an actress and someone that is into movie production, one has to be very conversant with fashion. It is needed, especially when one is on set, because your style or mode of dressing has to conform with your role. And she says that she also understands what fashion entails, because she's into costuming. Style is something that women should not take with levity, because it is one of the vital things that portray her wall and missed people. For beauty regimen, she's not serious about it. She really loves the way she is. She doesn't apply too much foundation on her face. And she also ensures that she keeps her face smooth and always loves her lips to make a statement. Now, Aji Shefin is a freak for shoes and she loves them to fault and can't do without her. She also wants to get more shoes every time. She likes bags and dangly earrings as well and her day is incomplete without them. Her favorite color is red. She cherishes red a lot. Her favorite item. She loves native attires a lot. She loves putting them on to parties. Not that she's a party freak, but she's more comfortable in native when she's going for events. The main gist is that she loves putting on bogus things that will make her presence noticed. This was what she revealed in an interview. The thing that she can't be caught dead wearing is bikini. Bikini is the list of the fashion items that she can be caught dead wearing. Bikini is the list of the items she can be caught dead wearing. She doesn't like it at all. Because according to Tawa, it does not suit her. We have come to the end of this episode where Tawa Ajishi Fini's husband surprises her and showers her with some gifts before their wedding anniversary and Valentine. We hope you enjoyed this episode and learn some of the two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.